Hello, in this presentation, we will discuss the discussion question of describe accounting's role in the age of information. If we see a discussion question or an essay question related to accounting's role in the age of information, one place to start that type of question would be to define accounting, define the normal role of accounting, and then expand on that. We can expand on that and see how it relates to a changing role, a changing environment, an environment that has a lot more technology, a lot more information. This is a type of essay question we're going to see more often and it's another question that we see coming up in discussion a lot as well as uh, computer age is, is advancing. There's going to be a lot of questions in terms of how much information can be done with the computer and what types of jobs will be done with the computer as opposed to types of jobs that will still need uh, a person involved in them. And accounting is one of those areas where you, you got to think, well, what type of the accounting field, accounting being a huge field, what type of those accounting fields will be things that will need or can be uh, done and automated without uh, as much uh, use for the, uh, the individuals involved, the accountants involved, and what types of things within accounting will remain uh, an important part in terms of a person being involved for whatever reason and what reasons are there <laughs> for a person to be involved in those processes so first of all if we just think about what accounting is we can think that the accounting is going to be uh, the compilation of information those financial transactions that are going to be compiled in order to make relevant information often in the form of financial statements so it identifies, records, and communicates relevant, reliable, and comparable information for business activities. So those are, those are the key components. We want it to be relevant, reliable, and comparable. So the, the information has to, be, has to be relevant to whatever decision makers are out there. If we're talking about third-party decision makers, typically the users of financial statements being investors, and the bank, if we want accreditors, uh, are the, those external users, the IRS. Those are the people that we're looking to, to have the information for. It needs to be relevant to whatever decision they are making. If they're going to invest in the company, is this information relevant to their information, to their decision making? Is it reliable? Obviously, the financial statements need to be reliable. A lot of the systems and checks are going to be put in place in order to have a reliability, including a standardized form uh, that's one of the reasons we have the general accepted accounting principles so that people can look at these financial statements relate them to other financial statements and have some idea as to you know how these things are put together so that they can read them and be able to rely on them uh, publicly traded companies are going to have an audit process that third party process in order to audit and make sure that the financial statements are reported in accordance with a set of rules typically generally accepted accounting principles and if we have of course all the financial statements for different companies reporting under the same standard and confidence that they are reported under that standard then we have we can we can compare them and, and be more reliant on them and that's going to be one of the components of uh, making the financial statements reliability and comparability kind of go hand in hand in some ways note that one of the major things that we want to do with the financial statements is compare them to prior years and to future years and in order to do that we need some kind of standardization so that standardization those generally accepted accounting principles help us to do that help us to make that comparability so that we can compare the financial statements to prior years and to other companies so that's going to be the goal of accounting in general it's going to try to identify when these financial transactions are happening it's going to then record those financial transactions in some way and then compile that information often in the format of financial statements those being the end users for end users end users typically being the external users but also internal users in terms of management will then use that information uh, and hopefully if it's relevant reliable and comparable uh, at that end point once we have that the question is well how much of that information can be put together uh, with with people involved and how you know what's the accountant's role in that process clearly in the past the accountant's role might have been to do this whole thing by hand basically we're going to find the financial transactions going to record those transactions within a ledger we're going to create the trial balance from that information and then we're going to use the trial balance in order to create 
the financial statements. When we consider, you know, when we learn accounting, we still kind of learn that process. We're learning the process of actually identifying when the transaction is happening and then recording that transaction with a journal entry in a general journal, then posting that to the general ledger and then the general ledger being used to make the trial balance and then the trial balance being used to make the financial statements. Now, as we use automation then, a lot of that process is going to be more automated, meaning just the, just the moving of the numbers around is going to be a lot more automated, just like math would be more automated. When, once we can put stuff into a calculator, if we can automate that, those processes will be more automated. So therefore, if we're talking about just the recording of data, we can look for, for information that could be recorded a lot faster. So that's what the, the new systems can record a journal entry, of course, if we just issue an invoice, it's going to make the journal entry for us. If we enter the bill, it's going to make that journal entry for us. We still need to determine in the system when the invoice is going to happen and uh, how, you know, set up the, the invoice in such a way that it will record the journal entry in the format we have. But once that process is in place, it will then be automated. So with, within the identification field, we need to basically, the, the, the value then from the accounting standpoint, from the people standpoint, is to set up the system, is to set up the system and say, how are we going to set up this invoice? What's the invoice going to debit and credit? And then the actual processing of that information is something that will be more automated, meaning we need limited input, uh, data input, limited knowledge in order to input that data. And then the system, of course, will take that field and process it and make the actual journal entry. It'll post that journal entry to the uh, to the uh, general ledger and then create the, the financial statements from that all through that, that data input process. Note that the data input process then is something that doesn't take a lot of skill, but in order to know the system, in order to set up the input process, that, that is gonna take more skill in order to know when the invoice is gonna be, gonna be made those those types of activities are going to be taking more skill so in learning in learning the the system is going to basically be able to take over the process of you know posting the journal entry to the gl creating the trial balance and then and then generating most of the financial statements however the analysis of those financial statements and the setting up of the system are still going to be an area where many businesses are going to differ so many businesses, depending on how they generate revenue, when they generate revenue, you're gonna have to come up with those basically those different systems, know what the computer can do and what it can't do, and then put together a format so that the computer can do what it can do and, and, and be able to set up what it cannot do. So that it's really that analysis process, both in terms of how to set up the system, how to set up the internal controls, and then how to review the financial statements where the accountant role is still going to be relevant because those are those are areas where you need the analysis not just data input you need to actually understand what is happening within the system analyze what's happening within the system and then try to improve on the system and uh, those those are types of things that uh, the people will still typically be involved in if we go to the audit process the anal analysis process within just reviewing the financial statements looking at that end product uh, we still will have to look at certain things such as the adjusting journal entries and see what type of adjustments need to be made. Still going to be some analytical processes in terms of checking each account, trying to see and tie out which accounts are doing what and, um, and if there are any problems that need to be adjusted within those accounts. So the, really as we go forward, the, the accounts are going to need to be involved mainly more in those, those analysis type of transactions but just like if we were to do uh, some engineering or something like that and in a, in a field that has a lot of math a field that where basically a computer can do a lot of the information we still need to know what the computer is doing if we put something into the computer if we put something into a calculator if we say five plus five and the calculator spits out a number and we don't know what that number means we we won we can't fix it if there's a problem if the if the output is somehow giving something we that's not correct we don't know where to go to fix it if we don't understand the input process and um, we don't know what to do with that number <laughs> if we don't understand what it means if we don't understand anything about the calculation or how it was it, what it's doing then it's going to be more difficult for us to take that information and make decisions on it 
And of course, the end product of the financial statements are, uh, the end product of the accounting process are the financial statements. And the more we know about what the system is doing to make the financial statements, the same process is true. The better we can go back in and say, well, is this actually producing the right financial statements or is there something wrong within the computerized system that we need to basically adjust because it's spitting out financial statements that are not exactly right and how can we do that more efficiently and it, we need to be able to look at those financial statements and say well what do these mean can we analyze these financial statements from a management side can we look at these and make better decisions can we look at these and go back in each department and try to break down these numbers to help us make better decisions that those type of analytical skills are things that you know people are are, are really good at doing once the system's set up, the computer, of course, is going to be really good at just generating the data. Um, as we get more data as well, note that the computer can just do a lot more things. So there, there may be more opportunities within the accounting field as every time we, we, we have the ability to do more stuff, there's always more data <laughs> that we can put into the system. And we see that with, with everything. If you, if you look, if you're in the field of taxes, you may remember a time when the tax, you know, the IRS was requiring, re requiring, you know, a one to two page tax return. And then taxes are a lot easier to do right now if you have the proper software, because the software will allow us to put in a lot more information in a lot more time efficient way. It does that by, I mean, we can actually scan things into software and it'll, it'll start to input the fields. As that happens, what happened to the, to the demand for more information from the IRS? It goes up so clearly at, you know part of the reason that the that the tax code is getting more complex and the, and the tax preparations be getting more complex is due to technology technology is allowing us to get more complex and as things get more complex you need people to understand you know what is going on so it, it could actually increase the job field in, in different areas in, in, in different areas in terms of the accounting field note we have more specialization and part of this again is due to the fact that we just can process more data and therefore there's just going to be more data to process payroll is one example but it's basically its own field at this point if you're in payroll you payroll itself might be subcategorized out into into different industries and whatnot you might in the future in the near future we could just because of the amount of data have specialists in payroll that are specialized in per industry or per state um, or you know per multiple states you know we could have different different payroll specialties so and that's just due to the fact that we just have more data now and as we have more data there's gonna there's gonna need to be more specialization so within accounts you know accounts receivable accounts payable always kind of been breaking out into their own areas again as we as we get more information from our clients as we start to compile more data whether that be financial and or other data uh, the computer is going to be able to compile all that data more but we as the as the people involved <laughs> are going to need to sort that data and do something with that data so so i think that you know the accounting field will change in that uh, just like it has changed before in that uh, you, you know there's not going to be any jobs out there that are going to basically be if you have good handwriting and you can write within a ledger and add up on a 10 key used to be able to find a pretty decent job doing that if i can if i can uh, foot or add up a, a column and be able to write legibly within a uh, a spreadsheet something i'm not very skilled at doing then uh there was there was jobs out there for you doing doing that but now of course excel came along and excel automated a lot of of that type of just ledger processing but it didn't really eliminate the accounting jobs it, just, it eliminated some accounting jobs but it didn't really uh, eliminate all of accounting. It just means that now you don't really need to to, to punch things in with a 10 key. You can sum things up within um, within Excel or punch the numbers into Excel, and that could really make things faster. What does that allow us to do as accountants? Focus on other things. Focus on decision making process. Focus on dealing with the you know helping the clients and creating value in that way. Of course, now we have automated systems that uh, database programs that can help us with a lot of different areas, whether that be in tax, whether that be in audit, whether that be in just in general ledger accounting. Again, I, I don't see that really removing a lot of the a lot of the accounting processes, except for just the data input process, except for just those processes that could be done automatically in terms of once we have the data input processing that data in the same way each time those types of jobs will go away 
but in the analysis jobs could increase vastly because we're just going to have a lot more information I think the specialization could happen we're going to get a lot more specialized in terms of different areas of accounting we're going to have you know a lot of different sub care fields maybe more professions maybe more you know certificate programs in basic di different type of areas just because there's so much more information that, that can now be compiled processed analyzed and reviewed obviously within this within the cpa and public accounting field uh the accountants are, are some of the more trusted advisors within within that field as well so when people go to their their tax person uh clearly that's one of the people that they, they ask a lot of questions so within within that process within the uh, public accounting a lot more just just information and advice a lot of value can be can be provided even if the software does a lot of the work even if they simplify the, the tax code which would actually be nice and let, let the software do more stuff the uh, accounting firms can can make a lot of value or create a lot of value by giving that third party advice uh, that's kind of independent advice and be charging for that third party advice on a lot of different things a lot of financial type type of investments as well as the taxes as well as the business just the business accounting and things like that within the company the same thing is typically the case a lot of times the the people that are, are looking at the numbers are you know could be thought a lot of times to have an objective view or more objective or or a view that's based on the data and oftentimes they're going to be a someone that can give more and more advice as they go through this stuff because you're going to need this you know this an analytical kind of mind is is what's going to be needed as we as we sort through all this kind of data that's going to be involved and obviously the much of that data is going to be in the format of accounting data financial data and even if it's not in that form the people that have uh, worked within accounting and dealt with accounting data have a good basis for understanding how to deal with kind of these kind of numbers this kind of data issues and uh, and can can you know make some judgments in terms of how to do different things with uh, with this data to make make good decision making processes so if you got an essay question like this uh, describe the accounting role in the computer age i would start first with just basically explaining what accounting is what the role of accounting is and then go into to, to the changes of what might be changing in terms of the computer age in terms of what a computer can do and what a computer can't do and i think the the major thing is going to be the fact that computer can process things that are standard set if we're just repeating the same process the computer can do that and that process is going to be something like after the journal entry is recorded the computer can post to that journal entry and can create a, a trial balance and can create a um, financial statement what the computer cannot do quite as well is really interpret you know how to set that system up in the first place and then and then how to analyze those financial statements at the end point and then try to think about wh how other ways we want to compile that data especially for management managerial purposes how can we compile that data in different ways to make you know different different type decisions and analysis